Yeah, so we're returning back to the crime scene and facing our fears. Right, here we go. Are you super nervous? I actually am nervous. I am as well. What an awesome day, what an awesome feeling. We are waving goodbye. Hi, Thailand! Feels so good to be on the water again. Seriously, this is like the prettiest day I've ever seen. After such a difficult start to the year, sailing away from Thailand with unicorn fart flying was one of the best feelings of freedom thus far. With the wind increasing and changing direction, we had a sail change to keep us on course towards the Rock Knock Islands. This is the place where we nearly lost Nanji, but we have unfinished business with a reef. You've just finished all this boat work. You've spent a, a month in the boatyard uh, fixing up all the holes in Nanchi. Where's the first stop? Well, there's nothing like facing your fears and going straight back to the scene of the crime, and we'll go there and anchor. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just go straight back there. Well, we might as well. I don't want to be scared of it. I don't want to be scared of this and always have this thought worried in my head. So we'll just go and face it straight on and deal with it. And have a sleep this night, probably. So, are you going to be picking up a mooring? Nah, mate, I don't <laughs> think we'll just anchor. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just, we'll just anchor, and then I want to go see the guys that helped us out and give back their anchor and their bilge pump and other stuff that they left on the on board. Um, so yeah, I just want to go see them and say thanks and Once give again. all their gear back. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, <laughs> just to show them the Niji floats again. of uh, land that might take me a while to get over. I'm looking at these uh, hills here and I don't feel very comfortable being so close to them. <laughs> right on, here we go. Fuck, I don't want to do this! Are you super nervous? Like, I actually am nervous. I am as well. I yeah, I don't know, I, I know why, but like, yeah, it's just, no, it's a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah, so we're returning back to the crime scene and facing our fears. I didn't think I would actually feel nervous about this, but now I am. The worst part about this is we have to go between two islands with reefs on either side. Oh, there's no worst part about it. Everything about this joint is sweet. It's just nervous because we fucked up here. And that's why things are a little bit interesting right now. As the Rock Knock Islands are over 50 nautical miles away from Krabby, it was a full day of sailing before we arrived late in the afternoon with not much sunlight left. The skinny channel pass between the two islands is through some crystal clear water and the reefs are easily identified either side. We passed by those dreaded vacant moorings in the channel and continued down to where we had a good view of the reef that caused us so much grief. I chose a big sandy hole next to the reef and dropped anchor, paying out plenty of chain. Like most reef passes, the current was running quite strong so the anchor set very easily and we reversed up with over 2000 RPM just for good measure. I still wasn't taking any chances, and even though there was little light left, I swam against the current and dived down the 10 metres to the bottom to make sure our anchor was well and truly dug in. Mm -hmm. 
Finally confident Nanji was not going anywhere, we all gathered in the cockpit, contemplating and staring at that infamous patch of reef where only a few weeks ago Nanji was sitting high and dry. Oh, how things could have ended very differently. So we managed to survive our night back at Rock Knock. Uh, we'll be honest, it was a really calm night and I still didn't really sleep much. I was real nervous about the, the change in tide because the engine would swing from one way to the other. Uh, we kind of felt it, you get a bit of roll up and then we was all good again as we poked into the, the stern into the waves. But, and I was pretty much awake from like the hours of two to five. Just, it was really hot, it was really calm, but I was just nervous as I was gonna get this squall. <laughs> but everything was fine. We got like 60 meters of chain out on a sand bottom. Like, I trust the anchor. 100%. Um, but yeah, it was just a good little, good little wake up, good, good bit of practice to anchor in some sand right near the edge of reef again, because that's pretty much what we always do in Indo. Um, so we just need to get our confidence back, really. We had mixed feelings about staying here last night. I thought I was all good until we dropped the anchor, and then it just started to like flood back, and I was like, I want to leave, I want to leave. Um, but we stuck it out, you know, just sitting here looking at the exact reef that almost like completely destroyed our boat was like really difficult. More difficult than I thought it would be. I thought I'd just get straight back into there, but yeah, um, uh, it was really hard, but I am glad that we did it. And last night ended up being the most perfect, beautiful night. There was, it was really hot, but there was no wind. There was no squalls. We were safe. Um, we had the change of tide. Josh got up for that and uh, made sure we were all sweet. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> I think it's gonna take a little bit for us to get more comfortable with anchoring again around reef, especially in new places. But I guess a little bit more precaution doesn't hurt anyone. So yeah, um, <laughs> we're just gonna ease our way back into this. <laughs> ease our way. Ease, ease our way back into it, starting with anchoring right next to where we came unstuck. <laughs> We're going to go to Lynn now. We're going to give the stuff back to the boys that helped us from the uh, from the national park here. Hopefully they're all there so we can thank them again and uh, give all their gear back because um, they really helped us out. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> When it all went down, I came into land to uh, try to get some help from the lads here because they got these big uh, tenders with outboards on the back and I thought they could help us get out of the reef. Um, and all of this, you can see there's lots of reef here. This was all poking out of the water. It was a full moon and uh, it, the low tide was extremely low. So I couldn't even get the tender in here. It was crazy. One of the guys. Good morning. Morning. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh. Very good. <laughs> Look. We're back. We're back. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. You bring all your stuff. Your anchor. Your bilge pump. Yeah. It's in the tender. Yes, sir. I. It's a look for you, it's a come again yeah. or not. Yeah, yeah, we made it. We come back. Uh, we fix it. Yeah. yeah. We, we come straight from the boatyard, Krabby. Mm -hmm. Straight back and what not. Base yeah. Up here. And it's a for the amp new. Everything new. Everything fixed. Fix, yeah. Everything really good. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you back your yeah. stuff. Okay. Then. Yeah, everyone. Uh, oh, we, we keep going to Lenkawi now. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. We only stay so we can come and see you. Yes. The EFP is a me. She's like. Come to. Thailand is yeah. so happy. Yeah. So much for us. We're super stoked. Yeah. yeah. We really wanted to come back and say thank you. Yeah. Okay. Deep here. put in this boat? Yeah. yeah. That was all the pumps and hose things. Yeah. Oh. And I think uh, the boat. It's a far, it's a good chew cabby, hands long term. 
It took us 14 hours. Slowly, slowly, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a not complain. Uh, we didn't want to go too fast to bash the boat. We just go real slow. Slowly. Yeah, slowly, and, yeah. And the, all the time, the, the bilge pump, yeah. the pumping water. Keep going. And yeah. bailing. Hello. Yes. Hello. 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 Yes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. Well, we did not. We did yeah, not hear. Yeah. Uh, you don't know. Yeah. You don't know. <laughs> we worry. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Oh. I am sorry. It's yeah. not the number. <laughs> yeah. I, I did not think either. We could have called, <laughs> but all, all the way. Uh, we speak to Krabby and so on the phone to Krabby every hour. Yeah. And so, so they help us make sure. But, and then we get there at about 10 30 at night and they lift us straight out of the water. The lads were about to get super busy as the tourist day trip boat started to arrive. So we managed to snap a few photos together and after some more thank yous, it was back to Nanji to continue the trip down to Langkawi. Done that. Done that, faced the fear, came back, spent the night here, right next to the reef that we crashed on. Now let's just get the hell out of here and never come back. <laughs> I'm very ready to leave. Feels like that's just the end of this chapter now. So we've come back, we faced our fears, we slept here, we've seen the lads that helped us, we've given everything back. Wipe my hands clean, and let's get out of here, man. <laughs> That's a wrap. Get out of here, Benita. Woo! Get out of here. Adios! Never want to kiss you again. With the anchor up, we couldn't motor away from the islands fast enough. It felt good to return and thank the lads, but we were now in a hurry to reach Langkawi as countries around us began closing their borders due to the COVID pandemic. We had a quick glimpse to see if the mooring was repaired or replaced, but no new buoy was there. We've accepted now what has happened and it is time to move on. Part of traveling is enjoying other countries and when in a foreign land, you need to accept that rules, regulations and standards are different to what would be in place at home. Moorings are rarely regulated and maintained in this part of the world and we won't be picking up another anytime soon. We have survived to tell the tale, we have learnt our lesson and now it's onwards to the next chapter. Sailing Nandy, sailing Nandy, sailing Nandy. This is Adamant 2, Adamant 2, Adamant 2, Channel 167. Adamant 2, this is Nanji. How are you? I'm good mate, how are you? You're heading down towards Link Carey, I take it. Yeah, mate, we sure are. We're going down to finally collect our packages. Fair enough. Where are you going? Kua or Kua? Uh, I think we're going to Kua straight up and do the old clearing process there tomorrow. Yeah, fair enough. We'll be there tomorrow. We're going to come in the 